Abdul Wahab from the state from the states. Uh, I'm asking on behalf of a sister. Uh, her husband divorced her for the first time and said you are divorced and kick her out. Uh, she went to her parents' house for some, for some days to try to get back to him, but he refused and said you are divorced for the second time. And then again for the after a while again for a third time that you are divorced, but they never got back together. So she's confused as if she's divorced or not. Okay. I will answer you, inshallah, Abdul Wahab. Abdul Wahab, issues of divorce cannot be solved by someone ask me to ask you to this, this, and that. It has to be with the Muslim court or with the authorized Islamic center. Or you should call someone personally, the one who divorced. So even when the wife speaks to me, says, Sheikh, my wife divorced me, then he said this, then he said his intention was that. So what's the ruling? He said, I'm not going to give you any ruling. Let him talk to me because he's the one that whatever he says counts, not you. You're just relaying the story. I have to take it from the horse's mouth. He has to say it to me personally. And only then we can judge whether this or not valid divorce or not. This is marriage. Imagine me saying something based on what you've told me, based on what you've heard from this sister, and somewhere down the line, there was a loophole. There was a mistake. Something was missing. A conditional divorce, maybe, or I don't know. So I give you a verdict. You go and give it to her. She says, okay, alhamdulillah, kiss and make up. And they live together when they are divorced three times forever. This is not possible. So let the man of this woman give me a call. And inshallah, uh, we'll try to figure things out.